It's your boy Nilgun in the house, back with another transfer news episode, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, we've got some really awesome news for you guys. But first, let me just deal with the latest updates that we've got here. Obama Yang, Odegaard, and of course, we're going to talk about Shkodra and Mustafi. And yes, some um, uh, injury news as well. So everything will be discussed in this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you seek daily Arsenal content, this is the best place to be. And watch the video till the end to get all the latest and greatest of Arsenal straight away. Without any further ado, let's jump on to the first thing that we got here is Obama Yang. So Obama Yang gave a tribute on his Instagram post for Socrates Papastatopoulos. Now, he says, almost eight years we know each other. Fratello, wish you all the best from the heart. Papa, Malaka, very strong. Adorate Socrates Papa dot official. So, PM Rick Obama Yang wanted to give, wanted to give uh, Socrates a tribute in, in, his, in, in his latest Instagram post. And yes, the ex Dortmund uh, teammates, ex Arsenal teammates now, well, it's really great while it lasted. But moving on, so Dani Sabayos, this is the latest update about the transfer, I'm sorry, about the injuries, is that Dani Sabayos left calf, missed Monday's match against Newcastle as a precaution with tight calf. Dani will be continued to be assessed in the coming days and will be tested ahead of Saturday's game. Well, we have a game against Southampton of the FA Cup. Pablo Mari, right calf. Pablo is progressing well from a mid calf strain, aiming to be back in full training next week. So it looks like Pablo Mari is going to be back as well very soon, and so is Dani Ceballos. However, however, here's the big update about. Uh, see, somebody asked me on on uh, on. Uh, I, I forgot to ask me. Sanjay Joseph, I remember. Will there be more departures from Arsenal right now? Is there is there a possibility that there are more departures that we could see? So here's another news according to that. According to um, uh, Sita Celeste Webb, well, it looks like Lazio's director of football, Igli Tare, has resumed contacts with Arsenal over signing Shkodran Mustafi. It looks like there's a strong possibility that Lazio director of football, Igli Tare, will make sure that Shkodran Mustafi moves to Arsenal, uh, sorry, moves to Lazio in the coming days of this transfer window or rather there could be an agreement for the future a pre-agreement a pre-season uh, agreement with Lazio but yes there is definitely going to be a, an offer for Shkodran Mustafi as per the news is suggested to me so also we also talk about Arsenal now open talks with Real Madrid over loan deal for Martin Odegaard and hope a good relationship with Spaniards over Dani Ceballos will help as they face stiff competition from La Liga duo Real Sociedad and Sevilla for the Norwegian star. According to Mail Sport, it looks like Martin Odegaard loan deal is still... Arsenal, I have already opened the talks. More on it. Keep, watch, keep watching the subsequent videos. You'll get awesome, perfect news that you definitely, definitely deserve. Also, talking, talking to EFE, Dani Ceballos said today... That I can tell you what happened to me at Madrid. I don't know exactly what will happen with Martin Oregard, but it is obviously it is obvious that any player who wants to succeed at Madrid is going to grab the opportunity he has. Young players need to play regularly. I wasn't getting minutes, but I realized it was best to work and reverse the situation and be important with another club. So I'm pretty much sure. I say I, I have I have I have actually covered a lot of Dani Ceballos uh, interviews before. He wants to play the Euros for Spain. He wants to be in that squad. He wants to play, be in the playing 11 and of course he would seek daily, almost every single time he would want to seek, um, um, every time that he gets, he would want to seek more and more uh, playing time. That's exactly what Martin Odegaard is also wanting as well. Also, let's talk about something else now. Arsenal have followed the Norwegians, uh, Norwegian uh, Martin Odegaard since he was a teenager and rate him highly. After allowing Ozil to leave, they're looking for a creative midfielder and have considered various options. Ishko was among those options, but he was reluctant to move to London after his wife gave birth. So it looks like Ishko's move to Arsenal, well, that is because Ishko does not want to move away from London because his wife gave birth. For personal reasons, for familial reasons, it looks like Ishko will not at all come to Arsenal. However, Arsenal have turned their attention to Martin Odegaard now. According to Sky Sports News, this is Arsenal's second approach for Martin Odegaard in recent times. The first was rejected by Real Madrid, 
the last the latest one made within the last 48 hours or so is being considered by the real madrid the key difference this time is that the midfielder is expected to be allowed to go on loan this for the regular first team football so yes for regular first team football this time martin odegaard is getting a preference to decide which club will he select because it looks like real madrid have agreed to let martin odegaard out on loan that is that's kind of strange but that is the reality that is kind of strange yes but that is the reality let me know in the comments do you guys really want martin odegaard on loan because there's a strong possibility that we could definitely try to get martin odegaard out on loan while the norwegian wants first team action just like danny sabayos he wants first team action now if arsenal have joined the mix it definitely is going to make it, make it interesting for him to select by the way also fabrizio romano on his latest podcast here we go said Dortmund players are not available in January. Julian Brandt wasn't available at all at the uh, hashtag BBB hashtag AFC. So it looks like no move for Julian Brandt. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, no move for Julian Brandt at all. Finally, we get a big update that no move for Julian Brandt because no players of Dortmund are available in January. You want a Dortmund player? come in the summer transfer window and get your man. It's as simple as that. So Fabrizio Romano tweeted out, he himself tweeted out about Emiliano Buendia. He tweets, to be clear about Buendia, Arsenal appreciate the player and they had a contact with his agent weeks ago, but no official talks with Norwich. Still quiet, AFC board have many options as quality midfielder and will decide in the coming days. Papu Gomez is not in the list. Okay. So no Papu Gomez at all, no Papu Gomez, no Alejandro Papu Gomez is not in the list. Arsenal still, uh, uh, to be clear about Buendia, Arsenal appreciate the player, they had made contact with the agents weeks ago but no official talks with Norwich. It's quite, it's quiet for now and Arsenal are still looking for that quality midfielder. Very much quality. Also, the dream signing Arsenal similar to Fabregas, now Arsenal fans reveal uh, certain things that we'll do, definitely cover it in the next episode but here we go something really special that we have got for you is uh, somebody really believes a lot in arsenal at the moment and that is lauren now if you know ex arsenal player lauren he's got something really different up his sleeve now um he spoke he spoke to genting bet all right so <laughs> he says there has been a big change at arsenal since the new year the team have been getting results, beating Chelsea, playing very good attacking football. I think that Arsenal have shown enough that they can finish in the Champions League positions. A successful season for Arsenal this year is getting into the Champions League positions. So in short, now I've got more, I've got more. Just because if you, if you already started laughing, I've got more for you. So Lauren believes that Arsenal can finish in the Champions League spot, that is the top four. Now he's not wrong. He's definitely not wrong because, of course, I, I, I personally believe that as well. That there's a possibility because this season is going crazy, haywire completely. Also, also, uh, of course, he says that a successful season for Arsenal would be getting into, the, getting into the Champions League position. Why not? He further goes on saying, this season, Arsenal did not start as expected and have lost many games that they should have won. Because I like to think with great ideas, I believe that a club like Arsenal have to focus on achieving the greatest targets. Okay, so one of the greatest targets is to re uh, get the top four this season, okay? Okay, so what about Everton, um, West Ham who are knocking on the door, Man City, Manchester United, oh my God, I, I count out Chelsea straight away. Um, yeah, Wolves, Leicester, what about them? Tottenham? See, it's not easy. It's not easy. He's believing in it. I like it. I like. I like what Lauren is offering. So uh, he further, it's not. It's not done as as what he said. Uh, it's not. It's not done yet. He says. Therefore, I'm looking at the Champions League places as a target for this season. In realistic point of view, I think if Arsenal get any European football, would be a miracle, because the way that they've been playing is wow. I think I can. I can only say wow. That's the only word that I've got in my mouth. But yes, so let's see how things turn out to be. If it, is, if it is actually making any sense, let's see if that is real or not. But for now, getting any sort of European football is the, is, you know, we, you know, you know we, were, we literally have gone to 15th and we are back. So you need to understand. 
loyal some a lot of Arsenal loyal fans literally were Arteta out every single time. Every every single game was painful for them to watch, and suddenly they they've gone quiet. So you know Arteta has turned this around. Let's see let's see I. I, I Let's see other our subsequent games with an open mind. Cheers. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you have, if you've not, what are you waiting for, man? Come on. If this if this channel was ever recommended to you, consider subscribing if you see daily Arsenal content because there there's only one reason why it was recommended to you because you watch you watch similar kind of content. Cheers. I will see you in the next one.